you're watching my trading diary and this action. is how you become a professional trader. I have to. It's just not an option to not know my numbers but throw a big trade on. Good morning, the day's about to get started. Thanks for watching. So yeah, um, I'm running a little bit behind because I had some technical issues uh, and you can't have that if you're trading through your computer. So we're at the open and let's see what this range is gonna do. So basically the trade that I'm looking at with this right here, I would put a trade on here to, oh, see? And this is what I'm doing, zero risk testing. What would I do and how would it screw me? See if it wants to stretch its legs all the way down to here. And it did, just a bite. And it wants to continue down a little bit. So yeah, we've got a little there. We have a little here. I'll go ahead and put this on. But I also want to capture the top side. Don't blow out. Okay. Like I said, even if I take a loss, it's part of the system for me to do that anyway. But 97% of the time, this thing wins, back testing and everything. So, yeah. Liquidity is not what it should be looking at that. It just means that we're in the fear-based market where every data point matters. And uh, I mean, recently it reminds me of 2008. Trading that year was difficult. Um, it was difficult because every news piece, like every, things you wouldn't even care about, moved the market substantially because it just whipsawed on every ounce of hope and fear. We're in a different situation right now, for sure. I mean, there's talks of nuclear war. That, that's, that in itself is like, there, there, during that period, we're talking about housing prices going down and the seizing up of the economic world. Nobody was talking about nuclear war. It just wasn't. It wasn't a thing. Let's see if I can eke out something on the uh, top side here, which doesn't bode well for some trades. Um, it depends on where it's going to settle in. down and it does set itself up for a little bit more slipping. Let's see if the market just gives up. There's a battle. The channel traders want it, that's for sure. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of my process. Um, I eased into this and I have hundreds of live trades on. And if I can tell you, if I just took one trade a day, then that trade would be my first trade of the day. This candle right here is not, it doesn't have conviction and that's, that's the scary part. I got the win. And you will say you have a 95% chance of winning $1. And then you've got a 5% chance of losing $6. Wouldn't you do that on a $1 scale? One to six? If you took the magnitude out. 
So, I mean, if you just do the math and you have 95 positive dollars minus 30 losses, your cost of doing business, and, and you actually get to keep $65 when it's all said and done. All right, so we have some news coming out at uh, seven business inventories. Most of this news, sentiment index shouldn't move the market, but in this market, you never know. Um, so let's get this trade on. I, I'm taking the seven o'clock. It hasn't been nice to me, but it, it earlier I said that if I had one trade to take in a day, it would be my first one. That's absolutely the best. And the reason for the being the best is going to be um, the fact that nobody cares about my position. I, I'm not at risk. Okay. Guess the market picked a direction. This is how you become a professional trader. The next step in the process, which happens, should happen concurrently, is that you, with all of this, you have to journal. You have to, and by journal, okay, you can write about your feelings and and all of the, the foo-foo stuff, but it's real. Stress in the market is actually a real, real thing. And your fingers can shake, and it's probably, that's a good indication of too much size, but, you can you can seize up trying to trade trying to trade bigger than you're comfortable with and if you need to trade bigger because you need to survive well i mean then check your risk of ruin which gets back to my original point if i need to trade bigger to survive then what am I going to do? I have to lean on the statistics. I have to. It's just not an option to not know my numbers, but throw a big trade on. And the other thing that exists is this entire 40, 45 minute video. If you've made it this long, you might as well subscribe. But this entire video is basically just a diary that I can review daily and go back in the future. You're watching my trading diary in action. I guess my point in the whole situation here is that let me <sighs> what a good way to end the week <laughs>